Hey, what's up guys? John here. We are witnessing the scheduled demolition of the entire auto industry. The average car price is now more than $48,000 and buyers are being further squeezed by rising interest rates. Car repossessions are on the rise as drivers across the country fall behind on car payments. And roughly 150 million Americans that own cars today will not in the next six years. Sounds far-fetched, but this has been in discussion for many years. I'm going to show you all the traps that have been set over the last, call it seven years, that all Americans that own cars and have recently purchased cars more than likely have fallen into. And this trap is going to set that rug pull to where nearly everybody loses their car. But if you're planning in advance and you're looking exactly what's going on right now, you'll be able to pivot and move around the insanity that unfortunately we now live in. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to show you exactly what's going on because this is absolutely crazy. It's almost unbelievable. But at the end of the day, facts are facts. When you look at exactly what's happening, you'll be able to make smart and well-informed decisions versus you know, the other person that's looking emotionally at the equation saying, oh, that'll never happen. It's already happening. People need to wake up and see exactly where we're going. Please hit the like button. Hit the like button. YouTube will share the content, educate more people about what's going on in America. If you'd like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you. At my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Your credit score has never been more important today in history because what's happening right now is lenders are completely taking advantage of nearly everybody with bad credit and banks are tightening up. So if you're thinking about getting a business loan or a home loan or an auto loan, make sure you have the best credit when you step forward to sign on those loan docs. Take a look at this. So car repossessions on the rise. Are you in danger of losing your ride? So here's how far we've come since July. In July, one in three cars with, 30, with an auto loan were 30 days late. One in five cars, 60 days late. And one in seven, 90 days late. Well now, 29.6% of residents in the nation's 100 largest metros were behind on at least one debt payment during the third quarter of 2023, right? So debt payments are absolutely skyrocketing, getting out of control. Now look at what Ford's doing. Look at what Ford is doing. And I believe a lot of other automakers are gonna do the same exact thing. Tesla, you know, every, every single car maker is gonna be doing this because people are not gonna continue paying their auto loans. They're not gonna pay the, their car notes and they will not, promise you, they will not keep sending out repo men to try to repo these cars. A lot of people are getting, you know, injured. They're getting in fights. They're getting in, you know, they're getting attacked when they go try to repossess these cars. I mean, it's, it's breaking news. It's, it's now like a common occurrence. Now look at what's happening. A patent application. I'm Ford in the process of a patent application for self-driving cars to drive away from their owners. After a series of missed payments, Ford's proposal will force the car to drive itself to a <laughs> repossession agency. Crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. You, you, know, you have a car, then before you know it, your car's driving away because you missed your, you know, your first payment. Now look at this. 2017, pay close attention to these dates here. Only 20% of Americans will own cars in 15 years. That was, that was 2017 Business Insider said that. Now that, people probably didn't take it you know, seriously. They're probably like, ah, yeah, sure, uh-huh, headlines. That's not gonna happen. But now people are paying very close attention to this year, because you've heard a lot of predictions for this coming year. And what are these predictions really gonna be around? I believe it's gonna be due to a variety of events that are likely gonna happen. Some probably due to record high inflation, some due to automation, technology, layoffs. You're gonna start seeing a lot of people unable to pay their bills and debt obligations, and people are gonna start to rely on government assistance to try to make it. And at that point, it's gonna be harder to you know, own real estate and own certain things. But if you're playing it really smart right now, you're, you know, you're in the right job, the right career, you're gonna be able to have more flexibility. If you're putting yourself in a position right now to get out of high interest rate consumer credit card debt and you're starting to just make the right steps, you're gonna do better. But for those that are not, here's what they're predicting. Private car ownership will drop 80% in the next six years, 80%. The number of passenger vehicles on American roads will go from 247 million to 44 million. Think about how big of a gap that is. 247 million to 44 million. Using electric ride shares will be four and 10 times cheaper per mile than buying a car. And each family 
could save $5,600 per year compared to purchasing and maintaining a traditional vehicle. I mean, think about what this would do to those people that currently drive for a living, those people that drop their kids off at school, they drive to work, they just simply need a car, right? It's gonna take the power away and it's gonna take the freedom and sovereignty away from many Americans when they lose that car. And I believe this is likely gonna happen. Here's why I believe this. I mean, sure, Business Insider quoted it, but you look at what they're saying, they're th talking about implementing restrictions on these high polluting vehicles, right? So when they begin implementing restrictions, and some people might say, oh, this isn't, you know, this is not, you know, a legitimate source. Like, I mean, when you look at the actual people behind it, you start to realize, okay, it, it might be, you know, it probably is, you know, it's definitely, right? Like these are big players. You got George here. You have a lot of really, really big names that are all saying this is what's gonna happen. You got Hillary, you know, World Bank, you got a lot of really, really big names. And this is uh, the leadership, the board of directors, you got Bloomberg, right? Like this is what's likely gonna move forward, right, in America. So you're gonna see a situation here where what I believe is gonna happen is the debt on these cars is gonna skyrocket far above their value. And people are just gonna start giving the keys back. I mean, it's already kind of happening now. Like look at how far we've come since 2021 and 2022. Rates for a 60 month loan between 4.25%, 4.52% February 2022 and 5.05% in May 2021. By August 2022, rates had climbed to 5.5% and began to rise significantly, hitting 7.48% in February. Now, what do you think the rates are right now on a used car? Going from 4.52, right, to now the average is 11.6% average APR used car, Q4, 11.6%. So if you were going to buy a car, let's say for example, a 4.52%, and this 4.52, you're buying a $40,000 car, right? And you're putting $1,000 down, putting $1,000 down. By the way, the average loan to value on a used car is 125%. People go in there, no cash down, roll taxes, tags, fees, everything into the loan, and they end up you know, buying a $50,000 car and walking out with a $62,500 loan. So putting $1,000 down is above the norm. So in this situation, your monthly payment will be $727 a month, right? $727 a month. Now, based on today's interest rate of 11.6%, what's crazy is uh, it goes from $727 to $859. So the difference between the two is roughly $140 a month but over a 60 month loan term, it's $8,400 in just interest payments on that car, $8,400. How much was a used car back in 2005? Eight grand. So the difference in just interest alone is the price of a used car <laughs> during the great financial crisis, right? As everything was like at all time highs, right? That's how far we've come. We've come very, very far. We almost live in like a dystopian world now. Car loan debt is soaring. Here's what you should do if you're falling behind, right? Many Americans continue to rack up debt, including by taking on car loans they can't afford. Nationwide auto loan debt reached nearly 1.6 trillion in the third quarter of 2023, a $71 billion increase from the previous year, according to the Federal Reserve from New York. Not only is the overall loan balance on the rise, but more people are falling into seriously, seriously delinquent, meaning that they're at least 90 days past due, right? They give you advice, like contact your lender and consider refinancing. Yeah, if you have the equity, right? Find side hustles. They, have, they give you like no basically, uh, basically no value. They basically say you're done, right? You're screwed. That is unfortunately the situation that people are going through right now with these used car prices falling. Because when people buy a car for let's say 40,000 and then they walk out of that dealership with a loan 25% above the value of that $40,000 car, and then the car falls in value 7%, they're underwater the 25% on the on top of the loan plus the seven. So they're underwater 32% of that car value. So what's gonna happen? What do people do? When they look at that car out front, they say, hey, I owe a hell of a lot more on this car than it's worth. Do you think they're gonna wanna make the payments for the next five years, four years, however long they have left on that car note? Probably not, right? Probably not. Well, now, when you're looking at this, some very unique things are happening. 
one of which is the supply chain disruption. So they say that owners are falling behind on car payments at a record rate. Here's how to get caught up. And they say the auto industry is still reeling from a blowback of production plant shutdowns and supply chain disruptions. Well, what are the odds that right now this Red Sea thing is uh, pushing shipping costs up 600%? What percent of auto parts are made here in America today in 2023? Probably close to zero, most of which is coming from Asia. It's coming you know, overseas. And so as we start to walk into a situation where shipping costs are going to rise, you have to realize that on the same flip side of those high costs that are going to get pushed out of consumers, I mean, consumers have less money than ever, right? So what are we going to start to see here? We're going to see inflation likely continue to get worse. They say inflation has cooled from the high levels in 2022, but monthly necessities like rent and auto insurance have skyrocketed this year, right? Inflation is stuck and the Fed can't lower prices without damaging the economy, top economists. <laughs> like, I'm a mechanic, electric cars are gonna drive us out of business and it'll cost motorists a fortune. You start to look at what's happening, it's just so clear, it's so clear. We're gonna see a situation over the next year, two years. Inflation, I believe, is not going down. I don't think we're ever going back to 2018, 2019. I'm not being a pessimist by saying this, I'm just being a realist. I don't see it happening. The world seems different. And I believe people are not gonna be able to pay their car loans like they were able to during the stimulus, the low interest rate environment, PP loans, unemployment benefits, when everything was propped up by all this fake money. Well, what's gonna happen as this money gets pulled out, interest rates continue to rise, the job market continues to fall apart, and uh, costs just don't go back down. Well, I believe big change is coming. I believe that Business Insider, they know. Like when they say only 20% of Americans own cars, yeah, that, that's what's about to happen. You know, and Wall Street is loving this. Like they are absolutely loving this situation because they're making billions and billions and billions of dollars by selling all of these auto loans. What they're doing, I mean, it, it's absolutely crazy. What they're doing is they're selling, like for example, this, uh, this gentleman here works at a church and they sold, the dealership sold him a car and they said, oh yeah, no, you have bad credit, it's okay, we can still get you into a car, buddy, we'll take care of you. You know what they charged him on just his interest payments alone? His interest is 22%, 22% interest, and uh, they bundled his loan with all these other people's loans, and then they securitized everything together, they sold the bonds, Wall Street is uh, making an absolute fortune because all of their money is associated to these cars, which is securitized against these vehicles, then they're making that 20, 22% interest that they're you know, stripping from American citizens. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're putting themselves in a position to where they're just basically printing money on the backs of this massive car bubble and on the backs of American consumers. This is where we're really at. I mean, they're not, they're not gonna say this, but like file for bankruptcy, breakout. If I file for bankruptcy, what happens? Breakout. All these, this is 21 different search terms all breaking out. This right here is a file for bankruptcy, what happens, right? Americans are in a unique situation, and I believe that the smart ones, the smart ones right now understand what's happening, and they're really paying close attention. They're looking at their career, they're looking at their job, they're looking at their business, they're paying very close attention, and they're putting themselves in the best position possible to prosper. Because at the end of the day, we live in a world, it's like a game. There's gonna be winners and there's gonna be losers. And the winners generally have a strategic advantage. And the more information that you have, the more of an advantage that you really have. So use this information to your advantage. What do you think about this entire situation? Drop it below. Do you think that Business Insider is correct when they say that 20% of Americans will own a car? I mean, 20%. You think about just how much of a shift that would be in America. Drop it below, we'll have a conversation. If you'd like to fix your credit, you wanna position yourself so you can get the best funding possible, we would love to help you. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any credit issues at all, book a call below for Monday. Catch you in the next video.